Okay. Hey guys. Just got off work. Figured we could paint together. Don't mind how crazy I look. I just work three 12 hour shifts. So yeah. So I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I've never really used this paint brand before. It's called Fusion. The colors are beautiful though. I did do a base coat in this color. It's called Goddess <laughs> Ashwagandha. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. But I will say that the base coat went awesome. It, like laid beautifully, smooth, it was easy to apply. So my plan is to do like a cloudy blend like I did on that Alice in Wonderland um, piece. I don't know if you remember with like the pastel colors, kind of like that technique with that color. And then I have Divine Lavender. Isn't that really pretty? Oh my gosh. And then this one, Twilight Geranium. Another really pretty color. I actually won this paint in a giveaway. <laughs> I have three synthetic, not synthetic. This is bristly brushes. This is actually Dixie Belle's new best dang brush. Whenever you get a new brush, I literally just open it out of the package. Always pull it to get those, see I just pulled one off, excess bristles that are just kind of hanging on for dear life off. Or else when you paint, and I'm sure it'll still happen, but it won't happen as bad, those little bristles will get in your paint. I'll show you how to get it off if it happens. But just before you start, just pull. See? Can you see that? Oh. <laughs> I'm pulling them off now. All right. So, do not judge me if this doesn't go great. Um, This is a live. So, yeah. You can't fix your mistake, right? So... We'll see how it turns out. I think these colors will be pretty together, but who knows? Um, I want to try to do lives more often. That way I can show you guys my paint process, I guess. Doing a video, like, formally just seems like a lot of crazy work. Like, editing, like, what? No, I don't want to do that. So, if you find this boring, just click out, whatever. But if you like it, I hope you watch and I can teach you something. So I have a brush for each color. I have my Mr. Bottle just in case. I don't think we're really gonna use it though. So on the edges, I'm gonna do the darkest color. Then next, and then next into my center where I added this ap ap applique or however they say it. I got it at Lowe's for $5 pretty amazing you buy those on Etsy they're like 15 bucks so I was excited about that it was just a plain um hope chest before so spray your brushes with your water now I want the dark to probably be the most so I'm gonna start with my big brush. And I just got a lot of paint. I really got too much. <laughs> That's too much paint, y'all. <laughs> all right. I hope y'all can see. So I'm gonna start at the edge. Don't mind my messy basement. All right, so remember with a cloudy bend, you're gonna like pounce your paint. Pounce, 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 okay? Yeah, way too much paint, guys. Don't do that. That's okay. We'll make it work. So I did that base coat in the light color just so I didn't have to do too many coats of what I'm doing now. It's good to have a base um, color to work with. And like I said, we're going to do dark to light normally the best way to do a technique like this. You can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. 
And remember, I haven't used this paint before. I'm used to using Dixie Belle when I do stuff like this, so. How was everybody's weekend? I worked all weekend, but I do that almost every weekend, but I hope you guys had a good weekend. I am now off until Friday, so excited about that. So that'll give you a little bit of, and see how much paint went with just that dip of too much? Like that was way too much. So just do it until your brush is offloaded. Y'all like that color? I think it's really pretty. Next brush, next color. Now I just wanna show you guys the start of a blend. I'm gonna do the dark all the way around, but. So we're gonna start moving this light color into that dark color. See how it's starting to blend? Pounce, 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 pounce it together. And this type of blending is really easy to do because it doesn't have to be perfect. Your line does not have to be perfect as it would in a traditional blend where you're just gonna swipe back and forth because that cloudy look is what you want. So, a little bit of room for, not error, but you know, a little bit of room for flaws, I guess, to play with your imagination. So, we did that. I'm gonna go back to my other color. I'm not gonna re-dip. I'm gonna use what's there. And you're gonna pull it into the light. Back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. See how it's starting to come together? This is only a first coat of a blend. So don't be worried if it's not amazing. The next one will be even better because it's gonna layer on top of each other. We're starting to get our look together. Now be honest with me, whoever, oh, I have one viewer. Hi. Be honest with me if you like these colors together. If you don't, tell me, please. I tend to get a little cray cray with my colors. If you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> what do you think? I think they're kind of pretty together. So I'm gonna re-dip in my dark. Not a lot this time. I'm gonna start doing this bottom. So you wanna think of like when something is aged, when something's old, where would it naturally be darker? Where would it naturally be lighter? It's gonna be darker around edges, it's gonna be darker around these little crevices, darker around this keyhole. You don't have to do it like that. You can do it however you want though. You wanna do light to dark. However you want. That's the fun thing about this, it's art. Nobody can tell us how to do our art. Nobody. Oh, 
Oh, I did it again. <laughs> oh man, that's okay. So this paint has really good coverage, but it's um, uh, it's a little bit watery, wad more more watery than I'm used to. Dixie Belle is pretty thick. This is a little bit, which is fine. Like it still has good coverage, so whatever. But I'm just not used to that. So I won this in a giveaway on Instagram. If you're getting into painting furniture and um, flipping furniture, a lot of other furniture artists will do giveaways on their pages. Like say when they hit a certain amount of followers or like an anniversary of when they started, stuff like that. So. The girl I won this from, Panolo Designs, she did a giveaway for her um, year anniversary of her Instagram page. And it's really funny because I did a giveaway when I reached, I think, a thousand followers on Instagram or something, and she won mine. <laughs> I thought that was cute that we both won each other's giveaways. What are the chances of that? So bring it up into the dark, bring it around. Some of you know I, we got a puppy recently and um, we're having a little bit of issues with her so any uh, recommendations on puppy training would be appreciated in the comments as well. She's like a really bad biter on my kiddos and I know she's playing. I know she's playing. I know she's a puppy. I know she's learning whatever. But she keeps accidentally hurting them, so I need advice. Is that pretty how that's starting to come together? It's gonna be a very romantic feel, very romantic, like a shabby chic. I'm picturing this in a master bedroom foot of a bed or you know something like that now these divots and stuff make sure you're turning your brush around to get under that crevice you don't want any of your base coat to just show blatantly like that. Make sure this keyhole here, you're going around it, under it. Make sure you get all that done. These little nail, I don't know what they are. Nail thingers, make sure that's good. Now, I got you down to this applique a little bit. Well, we can go for our lightest color. Which is our base color, so you're not gonna see it as good, but we gotta blend it up into this purple here. how it becomes lighter. Pound 
processing emotions. I'm going back and forth with the colors. See, I just have my light purple. Now I'm getting my dark purple. You're just slowly getting rid of those harsh transitions and making it a prettier, prettier transition. Keep going until you're happy with it. If you're happy with it right here, go for it. If you want it more, keep going. You want it even more, let it dry, do a second coat. Completely up to you. If I don't talk, don't mind me. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Sorry. But the point is you seeing what I'm doing, right? You don't have to hear me talk all the time. No, I think that looks really cool. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I was worried. Worried, worried. Back into my dark because I'm going to start coming down on this bottom edge. Way too much paint again. have a, um, a pretty good supporter on my page who's been messaging me asking for advice, which I love. Please, whatever questions you have, you can send me pictures, you can send me videos, however I can help. I promise you, I will try everything I can to help you. I want you to find the joy in this that I have because it is so therapeutic. It like takes all my stress away. I feel like that's why I paint so much after work because nursing is stressful, especially nowadays. And this just completely helps me unwind create something beautiful that people like, create something beautiful that you like. That's the most important thing. And just have some fun.
I'll be honest with you guys. You know why I started the booth. <clears throat> it hasn't been... I haven't sold anything. <laughs> so I've been kind of upset about it. And then today I got two messages asking about possible... Um, custom orders because they love my work. And let me tell you, that made me feel so much better. I was feeling so down about it. And then thank God I have my grandfather who is literally probably my biggest supporter ever. And he talked me through it yesterday because I was pretty upset. But it just goes to show you, you just keep going. It's art. Some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna hate it. It's just the way it is. Not everyone's gonna see it the way you do. Not everyone's gonna want farmhouse. That's a big thing right now, right? Not everyone's gonna want colorful. That's what I like to do. Not everyone's gonna want classic. It's all preference never know what someone's going to want. And you never know what's going to sell. I feel like that dark should come up more. So when you start to like question where your colors are, just go with it for now, right? So I'm going to keep on going down with this light purple. And then I'm going to take the dark purple and I'm going to blend it and pull it up. This ridge is giving me a problem here. <laughs> Maybe we should take the white start um, down a little bit.
that light purple in. Now we're going to take the white. Okay, so you guys start to see the process, right? Do that the whole way through, on the sides, on the top, and then try to see if you need a second coat. If you don't, don't. You have your base coat, you have your blended coat with Dixie Belle and with Fusion, that should be plenty. They have great coverage. Um, some of these other paints, possibly not, but you know, use your eye. You can figure it out. But hope you guys like it so far. See you guys next time. Bye.